Good morning. Good morning, Facebook land. Well, it's been interesting dealing with this COVID stuff and uh, hearing everybody's take on it, their perspective on the COVID, if it's like a hoax, if it's propaganda, if it's a pandemic, you know, and how you know the COVID is real is if you actually don't take any medications for any of your symptoms. Okay. Some people don't even mention their, their symptoms. They may feel a bit more tired, but they're taking uppers or monsters or lots of coffee to cover up the, the uh, imbalances in their biochemistry. So there are a lot of indicators of COVID but many people will take their drugs and their alcohol and other types of distractions to not feel the symptoms and then deny that COVID exists. But it's interesting. Um, just, you know, just this, this last couple days and watching my dog go through the adaptation from this COVID and me helping her along with it. And then myself, like I felt the COVID and it, how, it, how it manifested for me was extreme fatigue, extreme fatigue. And so that also, this also happens in um, during the menstruation process. And so menstruation and PMS and PMDD and all of that, for women, I'm discovering now, like, holy crap, we have an evolutionary problem. You know, women are evolving the pain in menstruation is evolution, okay? And so this, I finally clicked for me that all of this, 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 what I'm, why I'm doing this was basically because of my PMDD symptoms that were just causing such havoc two weeks before. And then the day of, I felt great. But now, now I don't have the two weeks before issues. Now it's just the day of, which I guess is supposed to happen where I feel all this pain and a difference in my digestive processes. Um, and that is because the environment is still very aggressive. When there are viruses in the environment, new viruses in the environment, the microbiome, the body, mind and spirit, as well as the uterus, which is all part of that, has to evolve. And so this is why, you know, some women have harder periods than other women. And this is why there is pain during the ovulation process because it's an evolutionary process. The prostaglandins, prostaglandins contribute to contractions, cramps, all the different feelings you get down there when you're going through labor as well as just through regular ovulation when the eggs are dropping. It's the contractions, these are prostaglandins. And doctors use prostaglandins to induce um, labor, to induce contractions. Um, during the, the the delivery process, so now it, it finally, like I've seen the big picture, and right now we are in a major evolutionary crisis. We're seeing people destroy themselves systematically. I mean, you you can call it a, a peptisis at the micro level. What is a peptisis? It's a cell. It's a programmed cell death. And it can happen on the micro level, which is fine, because if you are very, very healthy, then you can regenerate cells at the micro level, and you'll never really know that there is a programmed cell death at the micro level. But right now we're seeing a peptisis happen at the macro level, and those are the diagnosable diseases, the, um, the depression, the anger, the regression, the, the, the things that would cause people to go to therapy, um, PTSD, okay? So we're seeing a peptisis happen at the macro level. And that also is exhibited through the intake of prostaglandin inhibitors, the painkillers, the supplements market, the holistic market, um, the herbs and cannabis market. We wonder why it is re why women and men and children need to have vaccines because humans are right now are resisting evolution. If you are taking part in the painkillers, the detoxes, all the different shakes and pills and powder supplements and detoxes and, and prescription drugs, 
it is an evolutionary resistance. And then this is why then we have the vaccine industry because the babies are not evolving in the uterus because the uterus does not evolve to the level of the environment. And the baby is born into a world that it does not have enough immunity for because the mother's environment does not hold all the immunity because she keeps suppressing evolution through her practices, the medical holistic practices. And so yeah, so this is why I say like this is why I say that, you know, kids are victims, are the first victims in our society. It happens in utero. Why would you call a kid a victim in utero? Because they're not getting enough immunity, which means that they're going to have to adapt to the current environment and adaptation is not fun. Adaptation and evolution is very difficult. That's the pain process. Pain, cancer, disease, chronic illness, all of the pain. If you study pain and you understand, you know, you you are in the medical world and you study pain and then you're, you know, trying to do things to suppress pain, that's suppressing evolution. Okay, but pain is the evolutionary process. And that is why I get so much flack from Dr. Phil and all the other people out there in the world because they have been told through perceptions, through the stories in academia and the stories in the uh, the holistic allopathic industry that pain is something to resist. But pain is evolution. Pain is evolution. And we are actively promoting the suppression of it. Not us as far as the jelly juicers, but everyone else out there is actively suppressing their evolutionary process. And then we wonder why it is now we have the world the way it is. Look at Look at all the protests, the riots, the, 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 the people's inability to get past PTSD. People are looping in the same arguments over and over and over again until who knows what. I mean, we go and change legislation, but it's not going to change the people within. And so, you know, that's what's going on. Pain is evolution. And women hold women hold the key women or non-binary people with uteruses because i don't want to say women or men because that is also like a construct any human with a uterus holds the key to creating an amazing life or another biodiversity that we have to have an agency for okay and so this is why it's so important for those that are anti-vax to understand why it is it's just as bad, okay? If you want to say vaccines are bad, it's just as bad to go to the kombuchas and the apple cider vinegars and the herbs and the extracts and all of these things. It's just as bad as if you're to take a vaccine on a body that really can't handle any environment. But you got to take a vaccine if you have lack of immunity because the uterus was never able to evolve to the level of the environment. And so it's going to be a vicious circle for a long ass time for many people. And so you've watched me the last however many years and months systematically peel away the different truths. You know, I mean, I I was for the vaccines and I was against vaccines and then I'm for vaccines only for people who have an inability to adapt and need a help helper transition point. And there's so many perceptions out there. And so that's why I say that you're going to have many shifts in the truth until you get to straight, cold, hard facts. And the straight, cold, hard facts are the laws of life and death. And so, and so now you understand, now you understand, hopefully now you understand the reasoning behind the vaccine industry. It's not that Bill Gates is nefarious and trying to control the population. No, it's the fact that people don't want to feel pain and they're systematically trying to stop their own evolutionary process. And of course, women are doing the same thing or a person with a uterus is doing the same thing, trying to stop evolution within their reproductive system and so the baby has to find a way to adapt to its current environment if it only adapted to 20 percent of the current environment in the uterus because a mother is actively suppressing evolution within her own body and in her own uterus 
And so this is where then the high risk pregnancies come from. This is where the endometriosis comes from. This is where cancer in the uterus comes from because it's the body trying to evolve and the, and the person is not letting it do it. And so, and so, you know, I, I, so with this book, this book that I have right now, this is not a story. These are basically facts. And facts aren't interesting to most people. People love the story around all the facts. But cold, hard facts that sugar isn't shouldn't be demonized, neither should salt, um, water shouldn't be demonized, food shouldn't be demonized, um, for, you know, fermentation and lactobacillus and bacteria shouldn't be demonized, neither should the bi microbiome. The microbiome has the viruses, parasites, protozoa, proteins, fungus, and bacteria, and none of those should be demonized. Then the fatty acid, amino acid, prohormones, and minerals, that shouldn't be demonized. But we have the system demonizing, actively demonizing and compartmentalizing every aspect of your body, mind, and spirit, and then selling you a story around each compartmentalization of it. And then that's where the money comes from. That's where people get sold a bill of goods. They don't understand the whole, and that's where the deception of the holistic industry is. Okay? And uh, that's where the holistic industry comes from. It, or it, the deception is the fact that they are actively uh, um, saying one thing and doing another. And then Walter's high at 7 8, 8 p.m. here, Zambogania, eating fresh food a year, food a year, many fruits, veggies, fresh, almost after eight. After 12, no pain, meds, raw faith here, and actually thing beyond. Well, you should do the jelly juice too, Walter, okay? If you're not doing the jelly juice, the fresh fruits and vegetables are not going to do much for you because if you have leaky gut, all of that nutrition is going to go to the wayside. Okay? I'm telling you, just simply change your diet and discriminate against food because processed food has just, has just as many nutrients as fresh food. But the thing with people who have leaky gut and other types of issues who are aging and degrading, because if you're aging and degrading, Walter, then it won't matter what you eat because your body is not going to maximize the nutritional benefit. That's the second thermo, that, that's the second law of thermodynamics is when you have wasted energy. So that's why I say that you have to do the jelly juice. You need to get the book and do the jelly juice so you can heal and seal your gut and then you can eat fresh fruits and vegetables as well as processed food and it's not going to work against you. Men have it so much easier than women because they don't have to go through um, an evolutionary process once a month. Menstruation for women is an evolutionary process. We are constantly adapting to our, our a, a new environment because viruses mutate all the time. And that's the whole point of the vaccine industry and why they say that if you're right now, I think Australia is saying that if you don't have the a proof of vaccination that you can't come into public places. Well, I can understand that because if they have one strain that they're trying to vaccinate against and you're going around a bunch of people who are vaccinated, then yeah, anyone that's not vaccinated, that's going, that has symptoms that, are, that will mutate a virus will then infect a population that's vaccinated. You know why? Because they mutate that virus. That virus is now, or that vaccine is now rendered defunct by someone who has just mutated it because they were sick going into a population that's already have herd immunity through the vaccinations. Okay? So that's the whole point of, of, of vaccinations and and why they are now promoting the separation of those who are vaccinated or not if when they do come up with a vaccine. But even more than that, we need to totally be able to uh, reverse all of our issues, like reverse all of our issues to where we are asymptomatic. And if we are sick going through an evolution process, we stay home. So we don't pass along a virus that will then eventually mutate. And so, you know, the Jilly Juice is is great for someone who's vaccinated because it'll help support the body while it's going through that evolution process. But it also is good for someone like Walter Burton, who has, um, who went through 12 surgeries, back, neck, and shoulder. Didn't have pain meds, that's fine, but you gotta do the J-juice. Because if you are constantly being hit by an environment that has so many different viruses, and you still have predispositions or you wouldn't have gone through those surgeries or you wouldn't have, or you're not aging. If you're aging, you have to do the J juice. 
because the environment is so much stronger than your microbiome if you have so many predispositions. And if you're aging and degrading, going gone through so many different surgeries, you know your body's at a major deficit. You have to support your body with the J juice. You really do. Okay? It's not enough to just to, 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 to eat organic or to eat fresh food. That's not enough. Believe me, if diet alone was the only way to reverse all of your cancer disease and chronic illness, and not feel pain because you are highly evolved, then we would have so many people in the holistic world living to about 500, 600, 900 years old. But that's not happening because diet alone is not enough. Dieting is not enough. Dieting just deprives your body of the necessary nutrients. And then you get a very temporary stay of execution, very temporary. And so, you know, the Jilly Juice has a major longevity to it. And it's 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 a lifestyle. It's not a cure. It's not some remedy. Jilly juice is not something that you do temporarily. It's something that you have to understand the basis of it. I don't do as much Jilly juice now because I've healed and sealed. And when I feel like I have um, constipation or whatever issues for me, you know, if I need to clear the pipes, I'll use the Jilly juice to clean the, to clear the pipes. But that's about it. OK, that's about it. I it really I don't take jelly juice every single day because I've been on it for four years and I reverse most if not all of my issues. And I see mental clarity in my spirit, in my mind. Obviously I have, you know, no really major issues in my body, but my body every single time it gets exposed to new viruses, it has to go through an evolutionary process once a month, and that is the ovulation cycle. Okay? That is the ovulation cycle. That is an evolutionary jump every month for me. And I get it. Until 7 billion people stop aging and degrading, until 7, pe till 7 billion people stop mutating viruses and stop reproducing on bodies that are not met, that, that, are, that are so imbalanced, and then their kids have all these issues and they're mutating viruses left and right. Until that happens, I'm going to be going through an evolutionary cycle once a month to upgrade to the, the level of my environment every month. And I'm prepared for that. And I'm fine with it. I, I can deal with it. And yes, I can do the J juice during that time, you know, but I don't really need to. I mean, I could to speed up the healing and the adaptation, but sometimes it's okay to be down and, and do what it do my diet what it needs to do. If I have to be up and doing things, then I'll do the J juice to speed up the healing. But I mean, my body has enough, and I eat food. It's not like I don't eat food. Food gives me the nutrients to be able to repair and regenerate and give me the energy. So, you know, not just you know. Uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and raw faith, you got to have the, the right chemistry in your body. And the specific measure result is not dying and not aging. So if you are dying and you are aging and you are uh, playing in the distraction games, you haven't proven that you are healthy. You haven't. If you're aging and degrading, you're not healthy. Okay, so simply, you know, just eating fresh fruits and vegetables is not enough to prove to anybody that you're healthy. I'm sorry, but if healthy people do not age and do not degrade. So if you haven't reversed the aging process in your body, mind, and spirit, you haven't proven anything. Anybody can change a diet. Anybody can, and can say that I can handle the pain. Okay, that's fine. You can handle the pain. But if you're taking in food that isn't really doing what it's supposed to do, then what's the point? What are you doing? You're wasting energy. The whole point of Jilly Juice is specific measurable results, reversing all cancer, disease, and chronic illness, reversing the aging process, or else you're no different than anyone out there in the holistic allopathic world. You just happen to have a higher threshold for pain. That's it. That's the only difference. So, you know, it, that's why I talk about indefinite life. Can humans live indefinitely despite their environment? That's the whole point of the Jilly Juice. Because if it was diet alone, if it was avoiding drugs and avoiding things and dealing with pain alone, then, hey, you know, people that, that, that don't overtake drugs and eat a, 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 an organic diet would be living forever. But they're not. They're dying and they're aging and they're degrading. So the specific measure result is to reverse the aging process. 
death is death and going to heaven or hell is not a sign of a very healthy person because they are actually dying. They are degrading. If you believe that you should die and go to heaven and go to hell, then that is the rationalization of you having an imbalanced body, mind, and spirit. That That's what it is. It's a rationalization. So Julie Juice does not allow you to rationalize death. But people do. People who are religious will rationalize death. I know it. I understand it. I see it all the time. No, God meant for them to be taken away. God meant for them to be doing this. Yeah, when you don't follow the laws of life, God will mean for you to die. Yes. When you violate the laws of life, God will have you die. Yes. But you have the power to counter that with the right chemistry. Because in essence, you are life. You are God. You are the universe. It's not out there. You have the power within to completely align your body, mind, and spirit with the right chemistry. But no, people want to go and project out and say that it's somebody else's responsibility to take care of you. No, it's your responsibility. That's where the disconnect that I see in politics, religion, and science. It's that it's always somebody else's responsibility to make sure that you are okay. It's never your responsibility, but it's always somebody else. Well, that's not the, the, the purview of the Jilly Juice world. My group is not an active group. You know why? Because everyone's individually figuring out their own alignment, their own healing process. I have nobody in my page bleeding all over the page. I have nobody in there promoting and proselytizing really too much of anything. Um, nobody is discriminatory in my group. We're not discussing remedies or diets or anything of that nature. We're not judging each other. We're not saying that you should all come from love, 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 or hate, hate, hate. No. If you have a testimony on what you are going through, whether it's body, mind, and spirit, that's what I want for people in my group. We all know you're going to be going through all the different symptoms because that's evolution. That's people in my group. We know it's inevitable. You're going to feel pain in my group because that's an evolutionary process that people have suppressed for such a long time. And finally, with the J-Juice, they are allowed now to actually heal and feel and evolve. So we don't need to have that all over the group saying, oh my God, I have this, oh my God. No, we know what's going to happen. You have to deal with it. And some people want to be like, has anyone experienced this? I mean, this is fine. They don't come from like a, oh, I'm a bitching and moaning type of person. No. They're like, have you experienced the ringing in the ears? The, I forget what it's called. Um, and people are like, yeah, I had that. And then it disappeared with the JJs. Da, da, da. Okay, fine, great. And then they go off and do their thing. And they feel supported. And I don't mind that so much. Okay. But it is inevitable that you're going to go through an evolutionary pain process on the J-Juice. Okay? Eventually, you will earn pain-free when you have reversed all of your issues in your body, mind, and spirit. But those that want to think that they can earn pain-free by simply avoiding things that causes inflammation, okay, by saying, oh, I don't do medications, but I do all these holistic things, or I stay away from this food and that food and this food and that food because it causes inflammation. The reason why it causes inflammation is because your body needs it and it's healing and you're trying to stop it. So you just do in the, the fruits and veggies and, and twice no pain meds, raw faith, okay, so you're just avoiding pain. Because why would you not take pain meds? You'll deal with the pain, okay, fine. Are you reversing the aging process, Walter? That's what I want you to ask yourself. Are you reversing the aging process? Have you reversed all of your cancer, disease, and chronic illness? Those are the questions. Those are the important questions you must ask yourself and face up to. If you're not reversing the aging process, if you've not reversed your cancer, disease, and chronic illness, then what are you doing? What are you doing and what's the point? And so this, the Jilly Juice will have you really face your demons. And I know that it's very difficult to face demons out there because some demons are really, really aggressive. And it's going to take a strong person to face their own demons. Or they will rationalize death. That's the thing. People that don't want to face their demons will rationalize the death process. And I understand that too. And so I get every intention. I understand all the intentions out there. I understand why people resist my information. I understand why people do the things they do. I know why they do the things they do. There's nothing I can do about it. 
You know, I can only present to you the information, and then you can do what you want with it. But there's no way anyone on Delegius is going to convince anyone to do something. Because let me tell you, I even rationalized my politics. I've had several politics where I've taken a side the last, you know, six months or so. And then I'm like, now I'm like, oh, you know, all of politics is a war. As soon as you claim a side, whether it's Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever, I don't care what it is. You've declared war not only on yourself, but on other people. So I'm done with the politics. I'm done with the politics. I'm not taking the sides. I understand why vaccines exist. I understand why prescription drugs exist. I understand why everything exists. And now it's up to the person to figure out, is it appropriate for them? You say you want to live, but yet you're dying. There's a disconnect. I wonder why. Because you're actively suppressing the evolutionary process with all the painkillers, with the avoidance, not doing the J-juice. By, you know, the avoidance means by you're only doing raw fruits and vegetables. You're not understanding the whole spectrum of the food supply is necessary. If it's FDA approved or fruit and vegetable, it is food and it is what your body needs. Meat, milk, vegetables, fruit, cooked or not, even some processed foods. All processed foods are, are necessary. Some are in little bits, others in larger amounts. It's relative to your biochemistry and where your deficiencies are. It's not for anyone to say, well, you shouldn't have this, you shouldn't have that. Do I want Captain Crunch? I have absolutely no desire to have Captain Crunch. Not because I think it's bad, because I just don't have a desire for it. Okay, there's so much food on the market that I don't buy because it's expensive, for one, and I don't need it. I am fine with my oatmeal, with my brown sugar and white sugar, with my coffee in the morning, with my eggs and my potatoes and maybe some meat and some lunch meat and maybe some peanut butter and jelly, maybe a little bit of bread here and there. And that's about it. I don't have a huge, you know, grocery budget. But I don't also have a lot of fruits and vegetables either. I have cabbage. I don't even really have any fruits in the household. Fruit is sugar. Sugar is whatever. I can get sugar anywhere. Sugar is sugar. There is no good sugar and bad sugar. Sugar is just sugar. And so, you know, so I'm doing just fine. So, you know, so that's the point of the J-Juice is to understand not, there's no discrimination needed. There are specific measure results on J-Juice that people need to pay attention to. And if you're not meeting those specific goals, if those are not your focus is reversing the aging process and reversing your cancer disease and chronic illness, not compartmentalizing where like, oh yeah, you know, these, you know, I know it's little baby steps, but you got to have a bigger goal. What is your goal? Are you actually doing the J-juice? Walt or Burton, are you actually doing the J-juice or are you just simply eating just fruits and vegetables and taking no pain meds because of your surgeries? I'm sorry, anytime you go to surgery, you're taking down a notch, like several notches. Any single time you go to the, you use any type of holistic allopathic medicine, you have put yourself way behind the eight ball and now you have to double, triple on the J-juice to be able to repair the damage that was done. And if you're not doing that, then what are you working for? What are you doing? What are you promoting? And that's where the Jilly Juice comes in because Jilly Juice will, 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 folk, will, will, what is it? Jilly Juice will make the hypocrites face the truth, face the facts. I'm not trying to call you a hypocrite, Walter, but I'll say this. If you want to live, you have to understand the J Juice. If you want to live. But if you want to rationalize death and say that if it's pure faith for you, then you're willing to go with everybody else who's, during, who's going through the death process, then how are you any different? What makes you so special? Okay? So politics, religion, and science will have everybody rationalize the death process, the suppression of the evolution process. All of that. There are some religions that are, yes, like, you know, Christina Morris, her perception of the Jehovah's Witness. Because I know what a Jehovah's Witness is that are like, dude, I'm not doing the J-juice and people should die. So even, um, so not all, so it's like, it's not even all religions that are out there, really. It's the people in the religions that are painting a broad stroke, stroke 
that color the perceptions of that religion, of politics, religion, and science. But in of itself, politics, religion, and science has their, their, their specific narrow focus, and then it's up to the individual to broaden that focus so it's not so narrow, not so tunneled. And that's you know where the J-Juice comes in, is where we can broaden the focus of politics, religion, and science. People are not really subscribing to anything specific, but they understand that yes, they have a different jargon, a different jargon words for the same thing, but ultimately the foundation is the same. We believe in life, we promote life, we understand that pain is evolution, and we give people a lot of latitude to figure it out for themselves. We don't ram or convert or proselytize or promote so much to where you're like marketing something without exemplifying. Because exemplifying what Jelly Juice does speaks louder than just people throwing words at Jelly Juice. Because let me tell you, people can throw words at Jelly Juice and they'll use all the wrong words. Oh, I'm all about love, 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 and hate, 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 and, and this, 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 and I'm doing the Jelly Juice, and I'm sorry, but Jelly Juice is not about love, 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 or hate, 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 or any kind of religion, or any kind of anything. Jelly Juice is about life. It's black and white. Everything in this book is promoting life. And showing you the black and white, you know, what are the laws of life and what are the laws of death. Antibiotics and avoidance and diets are the laws of death. When you are depriving your body of nutrition because you are so afraid to eat this food, that food, and the other food, you are depriving your uterus for a woman nutrition, you are depriving your baby of nutrition, you're depriving yourself of nutrition. And you're teaching your kids to deprive themselves of nutrition. Discrimination. And then discrimination comes out in than in all other sectors. You see it in racism, all the isms out there. Intolerance, okay? So it happens, it happens in the womb and then it gets translated into the adult who now has to finally deprogram themselves biochemically to understand that discrimination is not necessary. That life is truly actually Promoting life at the cellular level is the foundation of where they're coming from, but the imbalances in our body, mind, and spirit have said have made them say one thing and do another. Oh, I love life, but I'm going to actually take antibiotics. That's anti-life. That's the misalignment of the body, mind, and spirit for those that are that are taking part in the allopathic holistic, playing the discrimination games. And so, pain is evolution. So some of you will be like, oh yeah, I'll deal with the pain, but I'm going to actively deprive my body of nutrition and not do jelly juice and think that, that they're special. No. The specific measure result is reversing all cancer, disease, and chronic illness and reversing the aging process. And you have to prove that in so many years. If you've been on the J-juice for like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years, you better have reversed predominantly most of your issues if you've been on the J juice for at least four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine years relative to your predispositions. If you're 60 or 70 years old, then yeah, you have a long way to go, okay? But those little benefits that you get, the little goals that you meet are great. The body does prioritize. But I'll tell you what, you know, 10 years, 20 years from now, if you've been on the J juice for 10 or 20 years and you haven't reversed your issues and you're still degrading, you're wasting your time. You might as well get off the J-Juice and go enjoy the go enjoy all the distractions of Satan's kingdom, okay? Because the death process is Satan's kingdom. So those that are saying that they're religious and they love Jesus and they love God and then they're actively dying, they are speaking out of both sides of their mouth. If I can speak to that world, so I'm going to so Jesus will will point out the hypocrites in our society in politics, religion, and science. And it sucks that it has to come out that way, but that's kind of what it is. You know, Jesus is life. Satan is death. Who do you subscribe to? You can't serve two masters, right? That's what they say. You can't serve two masters. So if you're actively dying, discriminating, and, and not reversing the aging process, then you're serving Satan's ma Satan as your master. You're not serving Jesus or Yahweh or anyone else. That's how I can put it black and white. So, I don't know. I hope that wakes some people up. It might not. People will, you know, somebody is that steadfast 
and not doing J juice and in their discrimination game and all their stuff, it's going to go in one ear and out the other. Because I'm telling you, some of these demons that people have are so strong that they will not be able to face them. They're not strong enough in body, mind, and spirit to face their demons. And so it's easier to turn to politics, religion, and science to rationalize their behaviors. But still say, oh, I love life, but actively promote death in their own body, mind, and spirit. And then it gets projected outwards. And that's where discrimination comes into. That's where homicide, suicide, infanticide, all these sides then get triggered. So, anyways, I'm going to go and do my thing, but I, I finally see the bigger picture and how I can put it all together. Pain is evolution. Specific measure result is reversing the aging process in all cancer, disease, and chronic illness. Cut and dry. If you're not reversing the, the aging process, if you don't reverse your cancer, disease, and chronic illness, but you say you're, you, but you're dealing with the pain, then you're obviously not doing J-Juice. Because you can be eating fruits and vegetables, not doing J-Juice, and not taking medications or any kind of, you know, whatever, but then you have leaky gut, so whatever food you're eating is being wasted, and the body is stealing from the hair, skin, and nails, and bones to keep your vital organs going until there's nothing left, and then you die. And that's exactly what happens in the holistic industry for those that are in the organics, and in all the different, you know, um, trendy diets and all that stuff. They have so much leaky gut that no matter what they do as far as changing their diet, the body has to go and fill resources. And that's where the aging process comes from. Because of wasted energy. Good luck to all of you. You're going to need it, especially in this climate. Bye.